So let's talk about fasting. You know, there's many types. There's intermittent, there's water, and now there's dry fasting. And there are unique benefits to dry fasting you can't get with the other ones. And it all has to do with what happens in the body when you don't drink water. When you don't drink water, your blood thickens because you're dehydrating. But what happens over the first couple of days of a dry fast is that dehydration signals osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus, osmotic pressure sensors, that detect a concentration thickening of blood to instruct the pituitary gland to release antidiuretic hormone to stop the kidneys from peeing so much water. At the same time, it releases growth factors, growth hormone, which prevents muscle loss. Now, an interesting happens when antidiuretic hormone is released. The, <clears throat> the renal medulla on top of the kidney starts pumping out epinephrine. Epinephrine activates lipase and fat cells, and so the fat cells are then all called upon to start cleaving triglycerides into glycerol and free fatty acids. That's amazing because two things happen. One, the free fatty acids go into the mitochondria, start making water in every cell of the body, so the thirst goes away and you're getting plenty of a unique type of water. And you also release a very specific type of stem cell from fat, which is only about 3 to 5% of all the stem cells in all the different niches. They all have these, these special stem cells, but that releases those ones. So let's go back to the, the water bit. Now, when you're able to create water in your body without having to drink water, a couple of things happen because everything alive needs water to stay alive. You, your parasites, your fungi, your bacteria, and your viruses. Because when you're drinking water all the time, that's why it's so hard to get rid of an infection because you're feeding the infection. Hippocrates said, to eat when you are sick, only feeds your sickness. So this particular type of fasting is unique in that it starts drying up the water supply for the invaders, for the pathogens, for the parasites. And this is really important because they're the ones pumping out chemicals that are making you do the wrong thing anyway. Choose the wrong foods, think the wrong thoughts. It really is quite that integrated. Now, when that occurs, you're getting rid of all your parasite load. And you're also getting all this fresh endogenous water being made. You still have to have water. Your body makes water. And that's the cool thing. You see, your mitochondria make tons and tons of water inside the cells. And when it does that, your body's not thirsty. But when it does that, it's producing a pure kind of water uh, that the Russians call the water of life. This is because this is water created by a biological process, not water you've taken by drinking water. And that water is very unique because it's pure H2O. And that H2O starts flooding the inside of the cell, and then it starts flushing all the toxins out of the cells into the extracellular matrix, which is this, this zone between the cells that's a transition between the cells and the lymphatic drainage system. So that water just starts permeating the entire spaces in between the cells. And then you have this purification of the water in the body. That can't happen if you're drinking water because water from the outside has all sorts of chemicals and toxins and exposures. So you, it's dead water. It's really poisonous water, the stuff most people drink. I mean, I triple, triple carbon block, double sediment block. I do RO and all that stuff. But still, if you're drinking outside water, you're still taking water in and it still feeds your pathogenic organisms. So there's the deal. The unique thing about dry fasting is it turns on endogenous water, it gets rid of all your pathogens, and it flushes out your extracellular matrix, which makes your body purified from the inside out. Can't do that in a water fast. And it's funny, you know, because I am not against any kind of fasting. All kind of fasting is great. And up to, the, up to a point, we had water fasting. It had been proven for thousands of years to water fast. And many cultures do it, many traditions include it. But the problem is that's the technology as far as it went. They, it just was as far as you could go with it. And you can modify it and add this and add that and so forth. It's still water fasting, taking in water. Dry fasting is a new kind of fasting. It's been known in Russia for 40 or 50 years, but it's very new over here. And what's, the way to think of this is if you need to go to a destination, do you take a car or you take an airplane? You know, a car is three times longer to get to the same destination as an airplane. 
In respect to just fasting, yeah, you'll get all the effects that you get in a water fast in one third of the time in dry fasting, but you don't get these extra things, making endogenous water, releasing your muse cells and your fat cells, and it's the muse cells that are the big deal. Because only in dry fasting at the third day do you release these, these muse cells, which are pluripotent. They can differentiate into any tissue type at all without the progenitor stages. So as soon as they're released, they turn into cells they need. And because they're being released in the vascular system, it's repairing your, enti your entire vascular wall. These are benefits you cannot get with other kinds of fasting. So for my money and for the Phoenix Protocol, I selected dry fasting and a particular period of dry fasting, the seven day period of dry fasting, because that allows you to go into autophagy, clean out all your cells, turn on the endogenous water, turn on your stem cells, and give you time from day three to seven to go through all the stages of vacation that your normal stem cells have to go through to get to progenitor phase before they can differentiate, guided by immune system. But it also, the third day, releases muse cells, which are magic cells. They can become any of the three germ lines. You can produce nerve cell, brain cell, gut cell. Any of the muse cells can turn into these different types of cells. And that makes it fantastic. And so, as I say, there are unique benefits to dry fasting. I suggest dry fasting. It's a lot easier than you think.